Join us today as we explore the top cities in Mississippi, perfect for those seeking safety, excellent schools, and affordability. As a native Mississippian who's lived and traveled this state for over 40 years, I'll give you some of my insight on how I arrived at the top five, along with some truths about why some of the cities that Google will tell you are great places and why they really aren't. And for those of you not familiar with Mississippi, the first thing you might think of when you hear about our state is the mighty Mississippi River. Well, none of the towns on my list today are on or near the river. And that's because most of the towns along the river aren't somewhere that you'd want to live. And Mississippi gets a bad rap sometimes as being last on many lists, but there truly are some great cities here. So counting down, number five on my list is Oxford, Mississippi. Oxford is home to the University of Mississippi, better known as Ole Miss. The first thing that might come to mind when thinking about Oxford is that it's just a college town. And it's true, there's definitely that vibe there, but there's so much more to Oxford than collegiate activity. And despite its small size, which is currently about 25,000 people, Oxford is home to a thriving, cultural scene and it hosts art events regularly. There are several small galleries throughout the town. Oxford is also known to have a great foodie scene as well. The schools in Oxford are giving an A rating according to Niche.com and Crime is giving a rating of C. The square in Oxford, which has been around since the city was incorporated way back in 1837, is home to a variety of shops and boutiques. Oxford is also just a short one hour and a half drive to Memphis. So, if you're looking for a quick weekend getaway to the blues capital of the world, you'll like that aspect. Housing prices in Oxford really range a lot depending on how close to campus you are. There are smaller homes starting around the mid 200s all the way up to a little over 2 million for a luxury estate. But the average price is around $330,000. Oxford is one of those quaint towns that really claims once you visit, you'll want to move there. It really is a fun town, so if you have the opportunity, definitely check it out. It's worth a visit. Number four on my list is South Haven, Mississippi. South Haven is one of those lesser-known towns in Mississippi that has seen a big growth in population in the last 20 years. It's located in North Mississippi, and really it's considered a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. I picked South Haven for my list today. For those of you that don't really like living in a small town and want to live closer to a large metropolis, but still enjoy the things that a small town offers. South Haven has a population of 55,000 people and it's a short 20 minute drive to Memphis. So you can live in South Haven where the schools and crime are both rated B plus, but still have that nightlife and the big fun city things to do in Memphis on the weekend. Or if you're looking for work, a lot of people commute back and forth from Memphis for work and live in South Haven. The median home price is pretty affordable. It's around lo the low 200s, so you really can get your housing dollar to go a long way. Third on my list is Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Hattiesburg is home to the University of Southern Mississippi, but unlike Oxford, the school doesn't really dominate that town. That's because the university is smaller than Ole Miss by about half. And Ole Miss is part of the SEC conference, where Southern Miss, as it's referred to locally, is part of a smaller conference that, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to get near as much sports hype as SEC schools. Hattiesburg is located about 90 miles south of Jackson, but not too far south that it's considered a part of the coast, and so they are rarely impacted by hurricanes. Hattiesburg is known as the Hub City because many, many, many years ago, it was the intersection of the railroad industries. But today, they still refer to it as the Hub City. It's less than a three-hour drive to get to New Orleans or the Panhandle Beach part of Alabama and Florida or to Baton Rouge. Hattiesburg's population is around 48,000 people and it's rated overall B plus by niche. The average price of a home here is still pretty affordable around the mid 200. Now the next two on my list are in central Mississippi. They're outside the capital city of Jackson and both of these are good options for jobs due to the major hospitals that are located in Jackson and the professional job. So, number two on my list is Flowood, Mississippi. Flowood is located to the east side of Jackson in Rankin County, and the population is only 10,000. By land mass, it's actually really small because it's squeezed in between Brandon and Jackson. It doesn't really feel like a small town. 
It's only a 15 minute drive to Jackson if you have to commute for work. And Niche gives Flowood an overall A plus rating. There are lots of dining and shopping options in Flowood. There's some larger big box stores that you'll recognize and restaurants and plenty of small boutiques as well. And actually Flowood's commercial development is one of the fastest growing in the state. Flowood also has one of the nicest parks in the area, Winter Circle Park, that was voted best park in the entire state of Mississippi last year. The average home price here is higher than the other cities I've covered so far, coming in around 350,000. And Flowood is relatively a new town. It officially became a city in 1990. So most of the homes in Flowood are newer, relatively speaking. So if you're looking to relocate to Central Mississippi, Flowood really is a good option. And finally, we're at number one, the best city to live in the state of Mississippi. Madison is about 10 miles north of Jackson. Um, like Flowood, is also rated an A plus overall by niche. Its population is around 30,000 people, and it's a little more residential compared to Flowood. There's still plenty of big box stores and smaller boutique stores or restaurants, but there are more neighborhoods to choose from than Flowood. And the median price for housing here is going up a little bit in the last few years. It's currently around $400,000. But the interesting thing about Madison is the rate of home ownership, which is 94% of residents in Madison own their own homes. And to me, it's obvious when you drive through the neighborhoods in Madison, You'll see the clean streets and the well-kept homes. Another interesting stat about Madison is the median household income. It's really high. It's $125,000, which is about 60% higher than the national average. So with those higher home prices comes a higher tax base, which is a big part of the reason why the schools are so good in Madison. Another thing to note about Madison is that there are no apartment complexes in the city, unlike the other towns on my list. The mayor of the city, Mary Hawkins Butler, has been the mayor for over 40 years. And she won't let apartments be built in the city, which some folks may not like. But hey, that's probably one of the reasons that the home values have stayed steadily increasing every year, and not just the last few years, but every year. I hope I've shed some light on which city is the best to live in Mississippi. Moving to a new town really is a personal preference, and those things that you prioritize are different for everyone, depending on your needs and wants. If you are looking in Central Mississippi, be sure to check out our website at taylorgroupms.com. It has all the listings in our MLS. I get calls all the time from people that are moving to Central Mississippi especially the Madison and Flowood area. My number is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll love the one on screen right now. Thanks for watching.